Welcome to Waimati. Hop on in for a visit. Ladies, how are you today? You're well? Keep the speed down. How are you holding up traffic? Look at all this traffic, Dave. Man, this is like a candy store, isn't it? Morning, Lindsay. How's things? We live in a, a nice little town. Waimati's been a, a bit of a soft, oh, I've had a soft spot for Waimati for a number of years and really happy to live here. I, I can't complain too much because um, I'm standing here. One standing right behind <laughs> me. But, <laughs> and I hunt and fish with him, so uh, I don't want to get thrown out of his boat. The town is really good. It's, it's a friendly town. Uh, we have a good working relationship with the community. Afternoon. Morning. It has its, has its challenges, but it ha definitely has uh, the rewards. You see your clients, you know, in the street. No. <laughs> so this is the gym where Adam goes every week to work out. I'm going to pull a hammy shortly. He's a quiet type. Why Maddie absolutely placed a high amount of trust in the local police, so to keep that relationship going is critical. To enjoy the benefits of working here, which is, you know, we have less crime than elsewhere, probably because of that relationship and trust. Are you going to take me to jail or let me off with a warning? <laughs> take me to jail. It's a great place for my kids to grow up. It's a nice, quiet little peaceful town, but it's actually got so much in it for a small New Zealand town. I think that's probably the biggest draw card is all the things we've got here, you'd normally find in a bigger town. I was coming out of daycare, dropping off my, my youngest boy, and I was like, is that, my, did it, is that where I parked my car? That's my car, right? Adriana's uh, got exactly the same car as I, and I, um, I jumped in it, and she's never let it go. The policeman tried to steal my car. <laughs> we don't lock our cars going into daycare, no. I don't, don't have to, <laughs> usually. Hers is flashier than mine, to be fair. It's a good town, and we have the odd bit of trouble, but not a lot. I try and be a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> we believe you. Yeah, thousands wouldn't. <laughs> hey, this is the story. I've never had this opportunity before, but <laughs> not every day I can ask the police to do something. People find them helpful. They speak well to the police. They all talk to people, look after one another. I find it a great wee town. Well, you have to come take a picture of Lovett. He's blind. I reckon they taste a bit like venison. Yeah? Yeah, they've got a wild flavour. Yeah. They have plum sauce in it though, I think I'd cut a bit of the plum sauce out, but that's my taste, not everybody, no, they're good. Here you take ownership and there's, there's a, a sense of pride uh, in doing your job and you can make a real difference in this size uh, community. There's always something to do, um, everyone loves to see you, even if you just pop into the local school during lunch and play, play a bit of basketball with the kids, they're happy. Yeah, without the community here, it would be very hard to police. Uh, they need to buy into it, um, and we need to buy into their way of life as well. So, Not much freedom in these. Oh, full pass, Dave. Full pass. Why spend time of your life stuck in traffic, really? We can pretty much leave home at two minutes to two. Yeah. Still yeah. be early. Two minutes. It's probably got time to get a coffee as well. Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, oh, close! Would have been my first kick in my career. <laughs>